Heide, Mekhunorina, Torquata, Ugandensis. I'm going to check a 65 liters box uh, that was filled with substrate to the rim and it was um, um, filled with 20L2 larvae of Mekhunorina, Torquata, Ugandensis, 5th of May. That's around five months now, a little bit more than five months, and I will see what happened inside. If we look from the top, the material that used to be um, only flake soil and leaves is completely restructured into a fine earth, earthy material with some holes that you can see around here where the larvae came up in search of more food on the surface of this substrate. So today we will see what happened in there, whether there are still um, uh, larvae to find or already uh, pupas. That's the task for today. If we find bigger larvae, I will present them. Uh, I will put them into this kind of 500 milliliter boxes for pupation. Um, of course, if we find some uh, pupas already, in the pupal cell, we will uh, carefully take them out and save them in another box where we can uh, care for them until they emerge as adults. So on our first, we have to check what we find in here. What do we find? Already some. Um, uh, one thing that I can see now already is that uh, there are uh, some earthworms in here and that all this organic material from the leaves is completely eaten up uh, by the larvae. So if you compare it to the original substrate that consists mostly of leafy matter and flake soil, this is completely uh, recycled into uh, rich and a little bit wet uh, earth. So now, but here I already see um, a larvae on the bottom of this uh, on this cage and we will see how many uh, there are. They look very healthy. They have no mites on the spiracles. It looks nice and and healthy and it's not too big if we put it on the weight scale. It's 22.8. What I will do, I will put all this larvae into this kind of a 500 milliliter box with only a little bit of the original material because it seems to uh, be eaten up already uh, to a great extent. Uh, also this one, also this is a nice uh, larvae, goes in here. So, and they click down. And let's see whether there's something here. No, but. Yeah, it's completely eaten up soil, but you don't see any um, fresh pellets in here. That could be uh, for, with two reasons. First, it's probably a little bit too wet. And second, there are some worms also in here, uh, small uh, earthworms, and they probably eat up the, the fresh pellets of the insects. And they make this uh, fine powdery uh, earth out of the pellet. So I will put this away in this box here. And then we can go down to the bottom of the box and see what we find here. Oh yeah, here now you see there's a lot of, a lot of lorries come, coming out. And we do the same with them, just put them in here, cover it with a little bit of the original material. I'm prepared for that because I have a lot of these 500 milliliters already filled with the um, leafy material. So that's a place where they like to be. And of course also this here, we just put it away. That's the garden soil for tomatoes and other nice vegetables uh, next year. So, you know that breeding beetles is kind of making a new way of, a new form of 
um, composting wood based materials instead of just throwing things on a pile and waiting you can produce, look at this <laughs> look at this, you can produce big, big larvae in a big amounts also, look at how many there are here, this is completely filled with this big, big larvae so, look at that now no one, no larvae is left, but you, you can see the yes, big one here, another one now look at that all of these big Mecrinorina torquata, they must be around 30 grams, 26, yes. They come also in these new boxes. Very nice ones. So, and of course we also check um, how many of them survive from the original uh, uh, larvae that we put into this substrate. Here's a little bit the smaller one. But most of them, they are around 25 to 30 grams. This is 28.3, so they are around 25 uh, grams or more now. And of course, they are very quick and fast in dig dig digging down here. So that's the job. Just checking them, looking 30 grams nice big larvae yeah, mostly they are they are covered now under the original substrate this is a little bit too wet I have to admit that's also the reason why the the frat pellets they don't stick together and the worms appear now so it should be a little a bit uh, more dry also for Torquato who comes in since I think it would be better if they have a little bit of drier uh, substrate now but so we still find more here so how many do we have now already? 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 I think we can find some more here and then it could be nearly the 20 larvae that were originally in here but I want to show you something else now in the box here I mean these are the traces of the of the of the larvae that you see here that they were going down to the bottom of the box complete to the bottom of the box eating and and feeding through the very wet material on the bottom of this box so but they wouldn't probably uh, pupate in this substrate but of course uh, they could uh, try this way to dig themselves away into another substrate that is a little bit more dry where they can um, pupate and we give them now this box this is also a little bit more dry than the material in the box so I have to carefully <laughs> Look what happens if you try to push. They, they all come up here. They are down in the on the bottom of this substrate here, and I think they have all survived in this box because now I think we have even more than twenty. So probably we missed some. Uh, we didn't count them all when we put them in look at how big they are, it's very nice here so yeah this is definitely more than 20 so what did I do probably I I didn't uh, count the right way, though, there uh, seems to be much more than uh, 20 larvae in here of Mecrinorino Torquata ugandensis. That's also why the substrate is so used up, because if you see all of these big uh, larvae that have, they are all around 30 grams now, yeah, 28 now this one also. 
So that's also the reason why the material is so used up, because if they feed and this material and, and this big larvae, so they need a lot of material stuff to eat and to grow that. Now we have how many have we, do we have now? We have now, I have to rearrange them so that I can count them a little bit easier. So if it's a, one, two, three, 25, 29, 30, I have already <laughs> 30 larvae, so it can't be that they reproduce as larvae, so I have to probably uh, didn't count them the right way, so now there are like more than 30 of them here. That's a nice uh, view to see all these uh, big and nice uh, larvae growing in that kind of substrate. For five months they have been in here and they uh, grew together. Now how many there are? 30 times 30 grams. That's around 900 grams. 26, 1, 2, 6, huh? That's around 1 kilogram of larvae in a box like uh, this within five months. So that's a lot. And so that's, you can understand also why the material now is, is used up and looks like us. So we'll go back and check the uh, lorries in these boxes in around one month and then we see from outside whether they already started pupating or not. Thanks for watching.